All right, this is from Missy. Here's Corey's contribution. This is wonderful. It's better than I thought. The kids at the church are going to love these toys. You know what? What's not to love? But my uh, old tater head. It doesn't have an eye. I know it. My dog ate it. When he craps it out, I'll find it. Uh, That's pitiful. That's pitiful. Last week, Miss Kay asked us to round up all our old toys for the church's toy drive. Do you know what the first thing a kid's going to do with this? What? Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What's in this box? Every year, it feels good knowing that some kids will get to enjoy this stuff as much as we did. Ah, oh, sweet. That ain't going nowhere. It's my G.I. Joe action figure. And every year, I find something that I don't want to get rid of. Look at that. That's creepy. That's mine. No, correction, mine. That's my action figure that you stole. It ain't yours, it's mine. You stole it from me. Nope. That's a cute doll. It's not, not a doll. doll. I played with this for like a year. Yeah, you play with my toy. Congratulations. That's a doll, boys. Okay, it's, uh, not, a it's doll. not a doll. See the red on the bottom of the foot? <laughs> I marked it distinctly as that, mine. Y'all are grown a hush. Okay, that was mine. And he took it. Willie has always had the same type maneuver when acquiring things that are not his. But it was mine, then he put some red paint on it. I'm marking my territory. He has a knack for it. Now, if you'd have been in the Old West, that would have hung you for cattle thieving, because you would have taken a cow, put your brand on it, say, it's my cow. Some people would call this form of negotiation stealing. It's for charity. Mom, I'll buy a case of these for some other kids. Not this one. This one's sentimental. All right, keep your dog. It's, it's an, an action, action figure. figure. It's my action figure. No, it's not. Kids are gonna love that. Hmm. The best toy ever is the G.I. Joe. I'll agree with that. They don't make toys like that anymore. Used to be toys were something you could take outside to play with. It's all electronics now. We didn't have that stuff as kids. And use your imagination to fill in the blanks. Everything now has a circuit board or some kind of app. Or made of video games. Made of video games. Video games. Unless you're Godman. It's not made of video games. It is a video game. You know what I mean. No, I don't. Then I don't know what you'd use. Hey, remember the snow camo on the G.I. Joe? They had the scuba guy. Scuba guy was awesome. I liked the medic. The medic? Nobody liked the medic. No. That was the most boring G.I. Joe toy ever. Yeah. No. It showed me what you boys know about the battle. Huh? The medic is the most important man on the battlefield, okay? Because look, hey, soldiers don't care about toys, okay? They care about staying alive. Ah, we were kids. We were playing war. When I played war as a kid, hey, we played for real. Well, you can get off that because you ain't in the jungle no more. Oh, hey, I'm always in the jungle, son. Hey, look here. War is an art, and this is a real art, okay? Not like the sandwich artists, you know, down at Subway. I'm talking about kids playing war games. He's about playing. We're talking about survival, Jack. Here's my personal favorite, the art of camouflage. In war, you become one with the jungle. I'm like the predator, OK? What they can't find, they can't kill. Next thing you know, pow, you've been lasered. OK, and you look, and you got a big hole through your chest. How do you think I survived in Nam? None of us actually know the answer to that. Bam! OK, you're dead. No, hey, once a soldier, always a soldier, boys. Hey, I'd be a great soldier. You should see me play paintball. <laughs> it's combat. Oh. Of all the people I could think of that'd be terrible at paintball, you'd be top of the list. You don't know enough about your enemy. That's what gets you shot. I'm a way better shot. I have way more hunting experience. <laughs> You're a bigger target. You don't put your money where your mouth is, son? What do you have in mind, G.I. Jane? We'll put up this prize right here. Fine. We'll go get the stuff, get the kids, and let's play. Let's do it. 
Game's on. Let's go. You will go down. I will paint you like a wall. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Got that sucker at time. Yep. Dude, does this look right to you? Oh, that's straightish. Dude, this has got to be perfect, bro. Jessica's expecting like a small little thing. I went all the way with it. It's got to be perfect. Why didn't you just have professionals do it like you did with the roofers, man? I wanted to do something where Jessica would be like, good job, babe. Or pat, oh. on, pat on the booty. Oh, boy. There we go. Look, when you got a wife as hot as mine, you got to keep her happy. And then some. I'm not going down with a ship on this one. Oh, you're yeah. going down, son. What? Only problem is, sometimes I bite off a little more than I can chew. This is Thelma and Louise, Jack. We go off the cliff, we're going together. But you're Thelma, I'm Louise. She was the hot, red-headed one. Thelma better have been the one driving. You ever seen that video where the anaconda tries to swallow the hippo? That's a big cliff. That's where I'm at right now. I'm telling you, man, Jess is gonna kill me if we don't get this right. Hmm. Hmm. This ain't right. All right, I'll take John Luke. All right, Cole, man, get your butt over here. I'll take you. Winner take all. And the G.I. Joe. And the G.I. Joe. Y'all ready to play? Hey, you idiots. There's two other people to choose from here. Oh, yeah, how did I forget? Uh, I'm gonna pick Godwin. You're an idiot. Well, that's just rude. Hey, I'm the only combat vet here, all By right? default, I'm gonna take side. No, I'm hey, I'll tell you here. what's gonna happen here, all right? I'm going mercenary. All of you gonna die, men, women, and children. Sorry, Sadie. They wanna see war? Oh, hey, I'm gonna give them war. Hey, I'm going A-team all the way. Si, the A-team was a whole team. No. Hey, look here, that's gonna be enough paint shed, okay, to actually paint a shed. Hey, 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 that thing is touchy, boy. Put your safety on. Hey, and hey, and I'm talking about a big one. All of you be looking 360, because I'm coming. Si, you can't see 10 feet in front of your face. All of y'all are dead. Hey. Is this for real? Going the wrong way. Where's he going? Piece of junk. Well, hang on, these teams are uneven. Well, we'll let you decide. Well, I'll go with Willie. Crap. You just became Jace Bait. Everybody find your positions and we start in 20 minutes, okay? All right, 20 minutes. Lock and load, baby. This is gonna be good. See, for all those times that you wanted to get at your dad, this is your chance. chance. Oh, boy, there's Phil. They gonna make fun of first. Me? No, you're wrong. He's gonna get both of us. Why not? I'm 67 years old, and when my sons get in a bind, they still call old dad to bail them out. When I pull up in the yuppie village, you boys stand out like two zits on a teenage girl's face. Nailed it. Got us both. Got us both. You know, as a father, it's important to let your sons know. Don't tell me that's your dog. Yeah, it's my dog, Lizzie. Just how much they've accomplished in their life. What is that thing good for? <laughs> Sometimes a man wonders where he went wrong. Y'all done bought into quite a bit of work in this little project. Is that why y'all call me in? We don't know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. But too late now. Y'all ever laid concrete sidewalk? No, sir. Mm -mm. Well, look, I'll make it simple for you. We're making a cake. I love cake. The only downside is you don't eat this one. It just makes your little yuppie wife happy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I want. I'm just trying to get a little pat-pat. A little pat-pat? Son, I didn't know these yuppie girls driving that kind of bargain up in here. What's next? You know, a four-car garage, you know, a little pat-pat. Honey, go out there and build me a barn. You know, a little pat-pat. Where does it end? Well, now I can get a little pat-pat. Yep. Boys, if we don't hurry up and get this thing done, look at these boys right there. They put a roof on while we're out here trying to put a little old walkway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'd just be embarrassing if they had a whole roof built before you lay the concrete sidewalk. 
I say we race them. I think we could beat them. They're halfway done. I think we do it. We're going to have to move faster. We're moving now, that's for sure. Come on. I think that's a good place to hold up. How much time we got before we start? I ain't got a watch. Guys. Do you have a watch? No, I'm the leader. I'm not a watch man. Why do you get to be the leader? I ought to be the leader. You can't even button your shirt up right. You think you're the leader? It's not buttoned up. Yeah, you're off one. What? I, I got a plan. What? Cole, just say what you want. I got a secret weapon. What is that? Smoke grenade. Where'd you get this? Internet. Does your dad have one? Last one. Sweet. This competition is over before it starts. I'm gonna make you lieutenant. I get on that field, I'm a modern day Braveheart. Oh, we can use this thing. Willie Wallace. This is the kind of ideas we need right here. Did he go by Willie, or was it just always William? He's got a little carrying ring. How's it work? Except unlike Braveheart. Oh! Good enough. Oh. Whoa! It's the other guys with paint all over their face. This thing's defective. Because you pulled the ring. How do you stop it? You can't oh, stop it. You pulled the ring. This place is gone. We gave away our position. You gave away our position. Pipe down, cadet. Big load coming. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Martin, how are we looking up there? Not so good. They've almost got this side finished. Dude, we can beat them. I'm telling you, we got Dad here now. Teach us, Sensei. Show us the ways of the Jedi. Huh? Well, where these boys went wrong is they think they'd win the race by yapping. We're your Padawans. Use us. Well, it'd be best if y'all spoke English while we're doing this. I tend to use words that you can find in the dictionary. Keep it coming, Thelma. Get the smooth in there, Louise. The word now in our culture is high definition. A little pat. A lot less talking, boys. More work. I think probably we'd all be better off if we just get back to definition. Dude, I feel like a karate kid doing this. Wax on, wax off. You don't need to hurry up. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. All right, here's the plan. See, that's Reed, and that's Cole, and that's Gowan. Shoot Reed and Cole first. I want you to shoot Gowan last. Why? He's the biggest target, and you don't have to aim. Good point. My guess is that Willie's gonna overcomplicate his plan of attack. We're not gonna sit there and wait, get shot. I'm a kiss guy. We go down, we go down, charge it. Keep it simple, stupid. So here's what we do. Let's do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leroy Robertson! But my sixth sense is telling me I could be wrong about that. Follow the plan, follow the plan. What's the plan? Follow the plan. This was not the plan, John Luke. John Luke Robertson! There's John Luke. Get him! This was not the plan, John Luke. This is an epic battle. Ah! Going down, John Luke. And maybe picking John Luke. We got him, boys. Keep shooting. Wasn't the best idea. Ah! I had a plan there. You were supposed to follow the plan! What's the plan? I was thinking, you know, I forgot what the plan was. Ah! <laughs> Give up, you can't win. I can't believe we're doing this for a stupid doll. Say hello to my little friend. That action figure is mine, boy. My paintball strategy is simple. Jace, you better give up, son. Take down the easiest targets first. Ready your mind, girl. Ow! Stop shooting! I'm out! What? I can't hear you. Get them out of the way. I can see your arm, John Luke. I need help. And then just spray and pray. <laughs> You're bound to hit something. Ow! That hurt. Hey, I need help here. <laughs> Good grief, I need some help here. Stop shooting, stop shooting. Sounds like stop. Medic, I need help. All right, everybody stop. Time out. Hey, I'm falling. It's a trap. 
Upstairs. Calm down, sir. All right, Jace, come out. All right, on the count of three, take a step out with your gun down. OK. I need serious help here. All right, let me see your hands now. Hey. All right, we're going to stop now. All right, All right here we go. Oh, here, watch, your, watch your form. What Dad, we're on the home stretch. <laughs> Good thing I thought to race the roofers. Dad's getting into this concrete. He don't like getting showed up by anybody. He's actually giving us some motivation to get this sidewalk done quickly. You boys forgot one thing. You're up against professionals. Between that, a little elbow grease. Rednecks don't do well against professionals. He don't like getting showed They're up. They're done. What? Done? You're a bunch of rednecks. Man. Hey, at least there's a walkway that's straight. I'll still get a little pat-pat after this. Well, pretty close. Don't step on the concrete. It's hey, still wet. Babe, it looks great. Y'all did you. it. I'm so proud of I you. I tried to tell you. You wouldn't listen to me. Well, as it turned out, you were a great motivator for this particular job. That's what I'm here for. Bub, do you like it? That's right. Pipe down, son. The jury has spoken. All right, let's go have some dinner. All right. OK, I hate to see it end, but I love to watch it go. I love to watch her go. Now here we go. Where is that idiot at? Was it coming from here? Sounded like it. Now, normally, if someone in the woods cried for help, I'd be concerned. Well, looks like he's been here. But Si has a habit of being a little overly dramatic. And even if not, there's a G.I. Joe on the line, son. What did he park it there for? Do y'all think Sal's OK? I don't think he parked it. I think he stopped, stuck it, and left. Do y'all think he's OK? And screams out for help. Do you think Sal's OK? Say, he's like 100 years old. I ain't watching after him. I hope he didn't sink. Nah, he made it. Hey, you know. He ain't here. Screw it. Let's go back to the game. Yeah. You know who's going to get blamed for that? Me. In my family, the older brother takes the blame for anything stupid that occurs. Oh, I can hear Phil right now. What would possess a man to leave a four-wheeler submerged in the mud? You have to take responsibility for your younger brothers or your crazy uncle. Good, you should get blamed. You let him drive it. I didn't let him drive it. He went mercenary. Forget Sal. Why don't we take the Polaris, pull it out, and then go back to the war? All right, go get side by side. We'll pull it out. Sometimes you got to step up and be the man of the family. John Lee, let's go. What are you doing? It's all underwater. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Got it. All right. All right, everybody get your gear. Let's play some paintball. Now it's time to light my kids up with as many paintballs as possible. Let's get this game going. What? They get on face masks? Now, we're going to take this side of the pond. You guys are going to take that side of the pond. There's no brush over there. Ow! Ah! Ah! Mm. You suckers are dead. God, what are you doing? It's the oldest trick in the book. It's called ambush, boys. Like I said, I'm the master of camouflage. No redneck can run by a four-wheeler in distress. That's the right one. Nope. Nope, oh, that ain't the right one. You hey. buried the four-wheeler on of purpose? Of course. Well, you could have ruined Phil's four-wheeler. Four-wheeler, bus, truck, whatever. Hey, look, casualties of war, son. Hey, everything went, went south there. There we go. All right. Now. Y'all didn't even see me. Sorry, you shot us in the back. Where'd you get that ghillie suit? No, I went to Phil Cage got it. You cheated. Yeah. Quit crying. You look like a scrawny Sasquatch. Oh. Hey, like I said, master of camouflage. Everything is fair game in war, OK? That's not cheating. That's winning. You didn't win the game. Sure did. Y'all died. I win. You didn't win. The kids ain't been shot. That's for running, Gowan. Hey, now I won. 
Ty, you didn't... I appreciate you yeah. losers getting my four-wheeler out. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, Ow! Ow! Good grief! Hey. <laughs> we <live in> that. <laughs> we'll come back and have a rematch. Now let's go get something to eat. All right, y'all bow. Father, thank you for this good food Miss Kay has blessed us with. I pray, Father, that we do two simple things, love you more each day and love each other. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's dig in, boy. As a family, when you spend as much time together as we do, things can start getting a little predictable. There are times when you know someone so well that you feel like you can anticipate their every move. But sometimes they'll throw you for a loop like actually finishing an overly ambitious home improvement project, or just nailing you in the back with a paintball. In the end, little revelations like this keep us on our toes and teach us that no matter how much you think you know someone, there's always room to be surprised. Although in Cy's case, I'm not sure I want to be surprised. Look here, boys. Since I won the paintball war, hey, I'm going to get rid of this doll. Cy, it's an action figure. No, I'm an action figure. This is a doll.